What I have the privilege to do is to work with the philanthropic efforts of NJM Insurance Group, which include our community outreach, in-kind donations, also financial support, as well as the company's matching program and community volunteer program. Sounds like you got a lot accomplished. I look at every day as an adventure. I cannot wait to get to work every day to see what I will be encountering. That's great. That makes yes. it more powerful. I think it's important to know that I directly came from Ryder to NJM, and I interviewed at the Career Development Office, and I've been here 39 and a half years. I started as a management trainee. I finally got to where I am now in the corporate giving area. It's been a terrific experience, and the company has been very good to me. Pat is a terrific ambassador for NJM. Part of our mission here is to support the communities that we're privileged to serve. And under Pat's leadership, she and her team do an exceptional job at that. And she takes so much pride in the work, but also in getting to know the organizations that are approaching us and that we're supporting. I'm looking forward to connecting with the one student. Ryder was tremendous as far as educating me, and I felt when I came to NJM, I was well prepared for anything that was presented to me. I was a member of the newly formed women's volleyball team. Never played before on a varsity volleyball team. I just played it recreationally, and I thought, well, I'll just give this a try. And we did quite well. We were like nine and two. I was like, oh, we did that? <laughs> you're not going to, you're not going to put all this on there, right? I feel it's very important to give back to the community. So I was offered the opportunity by Ryder to become a mentor. I jumped on it. And to be able to interact one-on-one -on -one with students, get to know them, hopefully they get to know me, and if I can help them in any way with my lessons of life, I'm very, very glad to do so. I've met all sorts of wonderful students, and I try to make sure that it is meeting their expectations, but hopefully exceeding them. I had the pleasure to meet Pat through the mentoring program at uh, Women's Leadership Council here at Ryder, and it has been a great experience. She gave me a lot of tips, recommendations, and she even coached me when I had to give a presentation. It was a huge learning experience for me. She became one of the role models for me, not just because she was a great professional, but also because she is a great human being. She has had a huge impact in my life and in my career, and I look up to her. I think my link to Ryder will remain a lifelong one. I'm happy that I was given the opportunity to become part of the Ryder Women's Leadership Council. And so I've attended just about everything that's offered just to keep learning. So I feel that lifelong learning is important as well and Ryder's enabling me to do that. When I attended orientation at Ryder, Dr. Frank Elliott was the president. And one thing that has stuck with me all these years is that he said, when you look back on the four years that you spend at Ryder, you will consider them some of the best years of your life. That made such an impression on me and I was like, I wonder if that's really gonna happen. And it's true, it is absolutely true.